Okay, um, I'd like to look at keyboard input. This is one of the very, very, very first things that we did. And, uh, and it's in the Java challenges from the very, very start. If we, if we look at the Java challenges or the first steps in Java, the very, very, very first one asks you to input their name and print out your name is followed by their name. So it asks you to use a string and keyboard from the very, very beginning. So this should be, should be pretty clear to you by now. Now, there are a couple of different ways of doing this. You can use different classes to get keyboard input, but um, the scanner is generally accepted to be the most flexible and the most commonly used one. And it's better used inside Eclipse because sometimes Eclipse, because it's a, a program which is running in Java, sometimes it has errors with the other ones. So they, everyone recommends that you use scanner uh, in 99% of the cases. Um, just if you're interested, other classes that you can use are console, um, buffered reader wrapped around system.in, uh, but don't worry about that for now. You have to import it at the very, very beginning or else Java will give you an error. Um, also, you have to create a variable of the type scanner. I've just called mine keyboard here so that I remember what I'm, what I'm dealing with. And you have to make a new scanner because it's an object and you have to pass into its constructor system.in. Now, you don't need to remember exactly what that means. You just need to type that line for now. When you come to actually get a value from the keyboard, um, there are three main functions that we use. Keyboard.nextLine will return a string. Keyboard.nextInt will return a whole number. And Keyboard.nextFloat will return a whole decimal number. Now, there are some others as well. If you press full stop after the variable keyboard, they'll give you a full list. But these are very, very handy because not only do they trap errors and you don't need to write any specific, you know, what will happen if someone types in a, you know, an X instead of a number. Um, it'll, it'll handle all of that for you. And um, you can also use the scanner class for other things, which we'll be learning a little bit later on.